Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing the Hugging Face library. We'll make ourselves familiar with the various functionalities it provides. And the purpose of today's video is to do all of that without using any data, training, pre-training or fine-tuning of any sort. So today we'll be using the functionalities which can be used straight out of the box. So Hugging Face is an NLP based startup which has been revolutionizing NLP, the entire NLP domain and uh, it was released around when the Transformers was released and it actually makes Transformers and Transformer based tools usable. So it has a lot of libraries, for example it recently released its NLP library before that tokenizes library and also the transformers library so first of all let's explore the transformers library let's install it using pip here first of all we'll see the pipeline which is a function inside the transformers so pipeline allows us to discover the various tasks which can be done using transformers and BERT based modules so, so let's see we import pipeline from transformers so firstly let's see if you have to do sentiment analysis we'll just call the pipeline class using sentiment analysis as an input and then we'll give it an input sentence and then you can see it loads the module, the entire model, the configuration, and give as an output here along with the confidence score. So, for this input, we are very happy to include pipeline into the transformers repository. It gives a positive sentiment, which is which seems right, and along with the confidence score, which is quite high in this case. So, this loads the entire this part loads the entire model configuration and then it gives the output similarly if we have to do the question answering task we can give it a context along with a question and it answers the question according to the context here the context is hi i'm the maker of this video and uh, then there's the question what is my name so this is a slightly difficult question for a machine to answer using just uh, just this context but yet you see the answer is right but the score is not as good as we would expect so which is quite reasonable in this case because the context was like that but if we give it a more straightforward sent context to refer from then we can see it improve So here it is, it's giving the right answer and the score this time is quite high. So next there's this very interesting task which is the fill mask task and it is based upon the masked language modeling task which the BERT based module models are trained on, pre-trained on. So it's a semi-supervised task and if in an input sentence you mask one of the words then the model has to predict what that word is so this is the masked language modeling task and here it loads the model and here's the output so for the sentence i hope you mask this video so the masked values are enjoy it. enjoy this video like this video like this video appreciate this video so not only it uh, not only it gives the right answer but it's also somehow able to uh, recognize my emotion so that's nice so we, you can also see the confidence scores are high in this case so there's this this score these scores are across the entire vocabulary and the tokens represent the this word at the 
position of this word inside the vocabulary so you can see appreciated is article is around 10,000th position in the in the vocabulary so this is a very interesting one of, one of my favorite tasks which uh, the transformers are trained on Na next we have the named entity recognition task so from this sentence it has to recognize the POR tags from the sentence so let's see how it does in this case so you can see in this case the uh, in this case the the model looks heavier than used than what we saw before so in, in every case it was around 260 million and 330 million so in this case 1.3 cg okay so uh, i think uh, in this case the model might be the original word based model we can even check it by writing np.model and it'll, it'll give us the entire configuration of the model so we can see so firstly it will give us the output for this input sentence and here it is so it gives the right answer it's giving it's classifying me as a person and this as an org so it's doing well so let's see the model which is being used to do this so yes you can see it's a bird model in this case and the bird model for token classification because it's a named entity recognition task so you can see it gives us the entire uh, schema of the model so this is a very interesting way to explore thing and not only can you just see the model you can do all the things you get, which you can do with with a normal pytorch model you can even save this model for later all these things can be done if you train and a pytorch model on your own so you can save this this entire dictionary you can save the uh save this model and use it for use it later you can save it as safe be trained and then specify the path and save it in that directory so now let's generate some text using transformers so hugging face has this very popular web app called write with transformer which we can use to see various checkpoints and models and use them to generate text for example GPT-2 we can choose some initial text it will give us the predictions according to the initial text we can choose those predictions and even write some text of our own and it will give us the predictions again this way we can generate the text so let's see how we can use this using some code from Hugging Face. We start by importing torch and transformers. We'll be using the GPT-2 tokenizer and language model to, to, to do this. We we'll load the tokenizer and the model from the pre-trained weights provided by Hugging Face. First of all, let's see how we can predict a single word from the text. We pass the initial text here which is let us see this how, how this turns out okay this is a mistake here yeah. let us see how this turns okay so the expected word is out but let's see what it gives so this is the GPT-2 mo language model which we'll be using so language model is uh, something that is used for language modeling which is text generation basically so now with torch.nograd we pass we obtain the outputs by passing the tokens tensor to the model we get the predictions by uh, getting the first tensor of the output and then we get the maximum from the predictions and here we have the output text which says out so this let's see how this turns out is 
the perfect output and this is what we get. So now let's see how we can do this for a multi word prediction. So we what we'll be doing is we'll just uh, uh, have a loop here. So the thing we did above we'll just have it in a loop and it will generate some text from the loop. We'll be picking the maximum out of the distribution the model gives us, gives us and append it to our text at each time step and then we'll pass it to the model again and we'll give us the prediction we'll take the maximum again and until the we reach 20 characters so let's see how this turns out so this gives us an output i'm very excited to present you this new book to share with you the first chapter of the book okay this is good right so there's just one problem here if you go for a longer prediction in this case there's a fair chance that you'll either see the output not reaching the maximum characters or the output being repeated. This is because of the sampling method we used here. We just took the maximum out of the distribution the model gave us at every time step. But this is not the best way to do it. There's a fair amount of research that goes on in this, in this uh, area and uh, there are various techniques to sample the output. For example, you can see the paper called The Curious Case of Neural Text Degeneration which compares various methods of sampling in a language model like beam search, beam search with noise, nuclear sampling and top P sampling and it describes the best ways to do it. So let's see how Hugging Face uh, performs on the same prompt which we used. So we give, we first clone their repository. So we'll be using the code they use in their backend that we saw in write with transformer as well. So it already exists in my in my drive, so that's why it says this. So I now import the G2 model from run generation.py, which is the Python file they use to generate text. We give it this we give it the same prompt as we used for our case and let's see the output so we can see this is a much better output than what we obtained there's no repetition in here and it even gave us an, a sentence in a new line so this is much better than ours and this is just because of the sampling technique they must have used Okay, I just noticed that there's a small spelling error in our initial sentence. But the very interesting thing that happened here is that the transformer was still able to generate the sentence so very well. And that is probably because of the context seeking ability of the transformer. That is, it looks at the entire sentence and generates the context according to that. So even though there was, there was a spelling error, it did not affect the transformer very much and it even gave us the intended word at a place so this is something which we should appreciate here and so let's take a look at another very interesting application of transformers and probably the last one for today and that is summarizing text using hugging face and transformers so this is an initial text which we'll be using and which we'll be summarizing it's something related to Shakespeare, his life story, and uh, this is an initial text. We'll be using the BART model to generate to, to generate the summary, and uh, BART is uh, is another transformer based model which was tested across various pre training objectives. It you can read the paper which was released in October last year. And it has been proven especially effective for generating summaries like these. So here we load the model and the tokenizer. We load the pre-trained weights from Hugging Face. And here they are loading. We are also loading, loading the entire configuration of the model. After it's done, we'll be tokenizing the text 
into batch uh, as a batch from using the tokenizer we have loaded here it will give us the tokens then we'll pa pass those tokens into the model to generate the summary that will give us the ids across the summarized text then we loop across those that summarized text and decode it one by one while printing it so let's see what it gives us so we, you can see we are not using greedy or we are not taking the maximum of the prob probability distribution at a time step here we are using either beam search or k nucleus sampling so this is an output we get the original text was around 1800 characters long while our output is around 350 characters long and we, you can see the output looks quite good and the word the words are words are quite uh, diverse in nature if you see then the nature of the output is also very similar to that of the input so not only is the text summarized well but also the contextual similarity and style is maintained so that's all for today's video thanks a lot for watching i've added some additional links here which will be helpful to you the note the link to the notebook would be in the description please feel free to play around so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you in the next parts